What's up guys and welcome back to the vlog. On this episode, we're installing our Renogy solar system on our cab over camper. Let's get started. All right guys, we're here in the camper and between under the sink and between the section where the oven was, we need to fit all of our solar stuff. Um, that's predominantly where the electrical stuff is. The breaker box is down there, so what we need to do is remove the battery from this insulated box. Remove the insulated box because with lithium batteries, you don't need, they don't offset any gas, so they don't need to be insulated. So we're gonna go ahead and get that taken out. We're gonna take this section out because this inverter charger is 22 inches long and it won't fit here. So we're gonna be mounting that on some wood and building a little platform for it to sit on. Let's get started. All right, we got the DC to DC converter charger mounted. Um, we have the first wire ran. Uh, this is an 80 amp breaker uh, that's gonna go to the positive terminal of the battery, positive terminal of the Renogy. And then we have this roughly fit into place. I made a board for it to sit on so it's raised up. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that bolted down and continue with wiring. And guys, just a disclaimer, I am not an electrician. This is not a DIY or a how-to. This is me just uh, showing you what I'm doing. Um, there's so much that goes into this, the size of the inverters and chargers and how you wire it all depends on, um, and how long the wires all depends on the gauge of wire. So um, each system is unique. So just because I'm doing it a certain way doesn't mean that you can do it that way as well. All right guys, so we're probably a little over halfway through the solar install. We ended up leaving this box just for fitment purposes. So we have one lithium battery in here. We have a second lithium battery here. We have our inverter charger here. Um, we have our positive bus bar. Um, we're missing a couple fuses that we're waiting to come in. Emergency shutoff for the batteries. Our negative bus bar. We have our DC to DC charger over here. Um, the only thing is, is we need to get our solar panels hooked up here um, and get the solar panels wired up up top. We haven't done any of that yet, but uh, just waiting on a couple things to get here and disconnecting some stuff on the camper so that the AC will still run off the shore power and not run off our solar because it's not strong enough. So there's some disconnecting and some connecting um, into the system that we have to do um, on the actual camper integration. So getting closer. Um, we have the uh, inverter uh, that was in the camper completely pulled out i just pulled it there's just no reason to have it instead of just unhooking the power from it um, but we're all unhooked we unhooked um, the things we wanted unhooked from the ac side as well um, i pulled all those wires back um, took one of the breakers out the other one half of it still, still being used they're all pulled up to here so we're gonna go ahead and get wired those wired into a junction box and then with two breakers, and then run that to the inverter. Then we're gonna tap into the shore power to the inverter, and we will have everything hooked up under here. All right guys, so we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I didn't like the bus bars that I ordered. Um, I, after reading the reviews, it looked like they were only rated for like 250 amps and we had more than that going through it. So we actually bought this Lynx distributor. Um, so everything positive and negative kind of wires into this. You can put your mega fuses on here. Um, so uh, we got that wired in. Um, we're gonna get our shunt and our battery monitor wired in and uh, then it'll be on to the solar panels. We've got our outlets and our microwave um, fuse box put in, or a breaker box. And then we have our inverter um, power button here. And then 
this is an emergency shut off or just an on off switch for the solar panels so that when we're driving we can get 50 amps or as close to it as possible from our DC to DC charger. Um, if not, it would take 50% from solar and 50% from the truck, which would be less than 50 amps for sure. So um, we will come in here and flip this switch off when we're going on a long drive to get the most out of our alternator charging. All right, guys, hopefully the glare is not too bad, but uh, today we are working on the solar. Um, we got everything laid out here. Uh, we actually have some strut channel. Uh, we got these little threaded, getting the light, little threaded things that go in here. And uh, then we will mount the solar panel and drill it right into there. So then we're only screwing the strut channel down to the camper and not eight holes per panel, which would be 24. It's only four holes per panel, so half the amount of holes. Uh, so we're gonna cut this up, make some brackets for that uh, solar panel and the other three to mount to, and then we're gonna drill some holes and seal it up and mount it to the camper. We've got all of our cables, we've got butyl tape, uh, ceiling tape, we've got some painter's tape, we've got some roof sealant, um, we've got a junction box that we're going to put on the top of the camper to seal the entry. So we're going to drill a one inch hole for these cables to go through and we'll hook them up to the charge controller. All right, we got all four of our panels laid out up here. We're just kind of testing some things, configuring our layout, uh, making sure we can still walk around and get to everything we need to. Um, and what's cool is, is it looks like we have the ability to maybe add a panel or two um, in the future if we want to. So um, what we're probably gonna do next is drill our hole up from where we're gonna drop in so we can see where our junction box is gonna be and see how we're gonna wire everything and see what's gonna work best. All right, this is from the top. I'll move the solar panel out so you can see. So that's gonna be our entry down into the closet. hole it's gonna be perfect all right we got our one inch hole drilled in the corner of the closet we'll drill another hole down um, because if we go down right through here and right through there we can come down in the corner come right through wire positive to the shutoff and negative over to the DC to DC charger or the bus block all right guys we got our layout done um, the ladders right here i'm able to walk all the way along i can get over to each panel the junction box is right there on the corner we're gonna make all this pretty and weather stripping and everything and seal it all up but we got our 400 watt panels we got it all ran down and we're gonna get it wired up in the bottom all right, we got this one bolted down um, onto the channel, the strut channel. Um, now we're gonna just drill four holes and insulate them and seal them uh, with butyl tape and uh, roof sealant and get this solar panel mounted to the RV. All right, we got our butyl tape down uh, underneath to seal it. Uh, we put an uh, anchor in there, um, we got it bolted down. We're going to come through at the end and put roofing silicone over all of these um, holes that we went into the RV. But we got one so solar panel down, three more to go. Alright guys, solar panels are all bolted down, junction box is sealed up, we're done up here. Alright, so other than zip tying some wires up, Everything under here is pretty much wrapped up. We got a Bluetooth module on the two batteries. 
We have a Bluetooth module on our DC to DC charger over there. Um, everything is working properly. Um, you can see we have this countertop and sink installed just to make sure we have clearance, but you guys will see the install of those counters on a future video. Looks like this is wrapped up. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap up this video. As you can see behind me, the camper is on the Kodiak. So you'll have to stay tuned for the next vlog to see how that goes. Uh, if you guys like this content and you wanna see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button to show us some support and share this video with your friends. We'll see you on the next one. Later guys. Ready to fall.